Let's chat about Baton Rouge. Miles Brennan has decided that he is going to uh, retire from football. He is going to quit football. He was informed that he is not going to be uh, the starting quarterback for the LSU Tigers. And I don't know that I blame him. Miles Brennan has been the next guy up for a long, long time now. He had plenty of opportunities to go and play elsewhere after this past season, and Brian Kelly talked him into staying in Baton Rouge. He didn't win the job, and that's okay. But I look at this, and it does kind of... It doesn't, it doesn't get to me, I will say that. Um, I've had people in the comments talking about how much I scratch my nose. I live in Memphis, Tennessee. It is allergy season. It is driving me insane. So that is, uh, that is the way that it goes. Uh, Tiger Nation, over the last five years, I have given all of my body, heart, and soul to LSU football. Playing for LSU has been a dream come true. Wearing the purple and gold, running into Death Valley, winning a national championship, starting at quarterback for the LSU Tigers. What more could a kid ask for? I will never forget the time that I have spent and the memories I've made here, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Right? You can go read it over on Miles, uh, uh, his Twitter page. So, looking at this, um, I'm not mad at him for quitting. Uh, I think if he wasn't going to be the quarterback at LSU for his, what is it, sixth season? I mean, he's been there for a long, long time. If he wasn't going to be the quarterback at LSU, then why keep going with this? I mean, the he had that just ridiculous injury. He's had multiple injuries, right? Uh, broke his arm. Or what was it, a fishing trip or something along those lines? I mean, it was something crazy. Uh, he's just had a run of bad luck. And I don't know. I mean, I brought this up in their team preview. Like, I don't know that he necessarily fits exactly what Brian Kelly wants to do as far as the LSU offense is concerned. Now, I like Miles Brennan. I wish he would play. Like, I think he's a better passer than anybody that's on the roster right now. But I don't know that he fits the offense. So that's where the question comes in. But, uh, but yeah, looking at this, I, I found this interesting from Darren Ravel. And this is a big reason why Miles Brennan uh, should kind of be a, a precursor. Why it's smart to not get... Uh, how about this? To not overreact to all of the NIL stuff going on, all of the collectives, etc. It Look at the list of NIL deals that Miles Brennan had. Raising Canes, Smoothie King, Game Coin, Small Sliders, Hollingsford Richards Ford. He didn't play a single game since signing, but because NIL deals cannot be based on performance, he keeps all the money. Eventually, the market will correct itself when it comes to NIL. Bottom line, it will correct itself. Like, I know that it seems a little crazy right now, but eventually you have enough of this happen. You pay a player before they've reached their potential, before they are able to fully grasp the stardom. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.